Okay, so I'm going for a slightly different format with this video today. I recently put a survey on my uh, YouTube uh, community area asking what sort of videos people wanted to see. And one of the things that people voted for overwhelmingly was that they wanted to see more in depth about the antenna. So I've come to, uh, I've come to Cot Hill Fen uh, National Nature Reserve. Uh, it's right next to Abingdon Airfield. For anybody that knows this region, Ab Abingdon Airfield is literally right behind me, just the other side of that fence. So I'm right on the verge of the nature reserve. I found a nice quiet area. I'm going to focus more today on the antenna. So what I'm going to be trying to use today is this. This is a um, MRQ213. Uh, it's made by Moonraker and uh, this will cover anywhere from 20 meters all the way up to, I don't know, what do we reckon that is? About a quarter wave on four meters, maybe? So it's a very versatile antenna and you adjust it just by extending it, it's telescopic. So that's the antenna. Obviously for that, you need a ground system and a way of supporting it. So what I've got here is this little uh, gizmo. Now, you can buy this as a complete kit from Moonraker. I bought just the bracket and uh, I already had an old ground rod. This is a steel ground rod with the copper plating. You, you probably can't see it on camera but the copper plating is starting to come off. So uh, I've actually, this rod was about, I don't know, four, uh, four foot I think it was. I've cut it down just so I can stick it in the ground. But you, So that's sort of like a DIY job but you can buy them with the ground rod and the uh, bracket and the uh, MRQ213 just screws into the top there and I've got a connection for my uh, coax cable there. Ground system, a couple of radials, uh, four radials, I'm just going to clip onto the um, bracket and uh, spread these out. So basically I'm running a quarter wave vertical, you need to tune that so I've got with me a little uh, nano VNA here so I can uh, adjust it and get a good SWR on the VNA. So that's the um, setup, that's the antenna. Okay, so tuning this thing, I've got my Nano VNA hooked up to it and uh, literally all I'm going to do is extend it whilst looking on the uh, Nano VNA and uh, once I get close, the uh, frequency, it should show up on the Nano VNA as a low SWR. So. I'm just looking at the uh, VNA as I go, and I want my frequency. I'm going for 20 meters, so I want my uh, dip to be at about 14.2 or thereabouts to get the middle of the band. Now the thing is, as you touch the antenna the uh, resonant frequency will change so I adjust it and then uh, take my hands off and see what it's doing. Right so that's giving me 1.8 at a uh, frequency of 14 decimal 2. It's actually resonant at 14.8 so I need to go a little bit further. Okay, so that's given me a dip. I'm hitting about 1.5-ish. I might give it just a tiny bit more. And if I move away from the antenna slightly, just uh, so I don't interfere with it. Yeah, see, as I moved away, that's changed my uh, resonant frequency. So it needs to go down a little bit more. Okay, that's good. That's given me about 1.6 to 1, slap bang in the middle of the uh, 20 meter band. So I'd say that's good for, um, for what we want. Okay, I'll give you a really quick overview of the setup. Now I've got it all rigged up. So there's the uh, ground mount there, uh, antenna on the top, which uh, you saw me tune for 20 meters. So there's vertical whip there and uh, 
I've got six radials, which is going to be a little bit difficult to see. Um, I'm just connected on here with a clip. Uh, not the best connection, I know. And uh, I think there's about six or eight radials, a couple of meters long each, all spread out across the floor. Uh, RG58 cable there goes back here into my radio. I'm using the Icom 705 today. So that's the setup. I'll uh, get on there and see if I can make any contacts. Okay, so I made a little bit of a blunder here. I just had a really good run on uh, 20 meters. There were 25 contacts in 20 minutes. Uh, so this thing really works quite well. Um, unfortunately, I managed to put the camera in photo mode as opposed to video mode. So uh, unfortunately, I didn't actually film any of it. Um, what I've done is I've now shortened the antenna and retuned it on 17 meters. So I'm going to give 17 meters a go. CQ, 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 CQ from Mike Zero, Golf, Quebec, Charlie Portable, M0, GQC Portable, calling CQ, standing by for any calls. CQ, 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 this is Mike Zero. Golf Quebec Charlie Portable. Ah, uh, Roger, old man. Yep, Portable. Good afternoon. Thanks for giving me a call. About five and two, five and three at the moment. Maybe better on the next over. We'll see. My name is Vic Victor India Charlie, located South East Bulgaria in the Yamble the best province. And uh, good luck with your uh, projects there. I'll wish you uh, seven threes and uh, hope to catch you again. Thank you very much, Vic. All the best. So there we go, one contact on uh, on 18 megahertz. I don't think that's down to the antenna. I think 18 seems to be a fairly quiet band. I don't think there's a lot of activity on there. Uh, I had a quick scan up and down the band. There's only a couple of stations on there. So uh, I think it's more that the band's quiet than uh, the actual antenna. Um, I'm thinking, I've had an idea. I wonder if I can make this work on 40 meters. Worth a try. Right, I've gone for a bit of a uh, configuration change here because I wanted to try and get this working on 40 meters. I wanted to have a blast on 40. Um, still got the uh, radials laid out here. I've added an extra counterpoise wire in, which is a bit longer, goes off uh, out over somewhere over there, just to give me a slightly better ground. And I've put the um, slide winder coil in here. Now, I should point out that Dave from M1 ECC Antennas, um, he recommends not using long telescopic whips like this one with the slide winder. Uh, it can actually overstress it. Now, I've only got uh, around about three meters of whip on there. I've uh, actually shortened the whip specifically so I don't stress the loading coil and we've only got light winds today anyway. So I've, I've tuned it up and we're getting probably about 1.3 to 1.5 to 1 thereabouts on the um, SWR. So I think we should do okay with this setup. Roger, Roger, I knew I recognised that call sign. Sierra Papa 8, Lima Echo Papa, also 5-5, five, 5-5 five. Five, five both ways, over. Roger, Roger, thank you. Thank you very much, my friend. 7-3 and 44, uh, QRZ. Echo 0, Fox Echo Hotel. A 2 Echo 0, Fox Echo Hotel. A very good afternoon to you, Carl. You're about 5-9 today. Okay, very good afternoon. Also, 5757 over. Roger, Roger, copy the 5-7, and I know what your next question is going to be. You're going to ask me for a uh, well, uh, Work to Britain reference, aren't you? That's Sierra Uniform 49. Sierra Uniform 49, over. Sugar Uniform 49, correct? Roger, Roger. Oscar Nancy 5, Sierra Whiskey Alpha. 
Oscar November 5, Sierra Whiskey Alpha. Good afternoon, Fram 59. Roger, very strange conditions today. Uh, thank you very much. Handless plants and your 5 by 2, 52, over. Roger, the 5-2. Yeah, conditions aren't great today. The band seems to be up and down all over the place. So thank you very much for the contact. 7-3-44. Well, look at that. Uh, lost transmission 5 by 6 to 56. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, like I say, it's uh, it's up and down all over the place today. Thank you for the contact. Park to Park, Mike Zero, Golf, Quebec, Charlie Portable. Roger, roger. Thank you very much. It's Mike Zero, Golf, Quebec, Charlie Portable, M0, GQC Portable, 5-9, over. Roger, roger. Mexico Zero, Golf, Quebec, Canada, Home Portable. You are 5-9, 59 in Oscar, November, Florida, 0317, roger. Roger, roger. My reference is Golf, Fox, Fox, 0485. Golf, Fox, Fox, 0485, over. Yes, okay, no problem. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, my friend. 7344. Okay, so a quick roundup with the Moonraker MRQ213. Then I've uh, had the afternoon uh, playing with this. I've done a bit of worldwide flora fauna. What do I think of it? it it's a bit on the heavy side when you compare it to my. Uh, this is my military whip. Uh, it's, this is about half the weight and folded up. It's about half the size. Um, that said, this military whip is a shorter antenna. It is a compromise antenna. This uh, Moonraker is a full-size antenna, so it's a full-size quarter wave. It's not a compromise. Uh, that's down to 20 meters, and like I say, telescopic, so you can set it on any frequency in between. Uh, performed very well. Uh, verticals have a low angle of takeoff, so once I've got down to 40 meters, uh, my N-fed half wave in an inverted V would have performed better. Um, with the uh, slide winder coil, I will stress again that M1 ECC antennas, the manufacturers of the slide winder coil, do not recommend using large whips like this on the coil uh, because the wind loading can overstress the coil and damage it basically. Um, I did not have this fully extended. I only had it about maybe half, maybe two thirds of its max length. And the winds are very light today. So I wouldn't recommend this in strong winds. I've heard stories of these struggling with, uh, in high winds, they do tend to bend a bit. So as a portable antenna, lightweight antenna for a day out like today where it's good conditions, absolutely. Probably not going to perform very well on top of a SOTA summit when you've got 30, 40 mile an hour winds though. So would I recommend this? Absolutely, good antenna. Uh -huh.